Right now, we are filming our Austrian action sequence. Bond is pursuing three vehicles, and the mountain roads are very dangerous and icy and fast. Those are going to be some very complicated stunt driving. From there onwards, you can get out to like under quite easy. We have nine cameras, one on a tracking vehicle, one on a helicopter, and seven cameras that are static on the ground. There is an epic road chase through the nighttime streets of Rome at great speed. And we've got an incredible car from Jaguar. We've got two separate characters, two completely separate cars. Obviously, Bond drives the Aston, and we have Hinks, who's a beast of a character, and the beast of a car, which is the CX-75. It's one of those scenes that's going to be very iconic, I think. Just with the two cars, with the characters, and racing through the streets of Rome, how often do you see that? It's one of those things you only see in a James Bond film. Jaguar approached us and said, look, we've got this car and we'd like you to use it. And we had a meeting with them and it's incredible in our racing around Rome in it. It's a concept car that's been slightly adapted for the film. It's a supercar. Originally, it was created with a hybrid engine. For the car that's this unique and this special and this high performance, you have to have a full technical team to make it produce what you need. And any little tweaks, they have to plug in their laptops, and then they give you what you need. These vehicles now are going to be pushed beyond the limits of what an everyday road car is meant to do. So all the safety restraints of ABS and traction control are all taken off and disabled. They're completely plated underneath to stop any underneath damage. The suspension's been lengthened a little bit so we get a little bit more travel. So we've done a lot of modification, but we are expecting a few bits of damage. The delivery of power is just phenomenal. It's aggressive and it's ripping your head off fast. It's lovely. I love it. It's an incredible car, and it's a prototype. It's not even available to the public, so it's kind of an honor to be driving it.